Now, why on earth would you be worried about me? Why are you looking at me that way? No, are you keeping something from me? Why would I do that? Well, you're looking very tired, and you haven't had your old energy. Well, I don't look tired. I don't look tired at all. I look fine. Look at that. Besides, I'm strong as an ox. Yes, and as stubborn as a mule. Nola, listen, I know you. I know when you're trying to cover up how you feel. All right, maybe I just need a little... Maybe I need a good night's sleep, then I'll feel fine. I hope so. I know so. Nola, promise me something, hmm? What? You'll take care of yourself. I'm fine. I'm perfectly fine. I just don't want anything to go wrong now. Oh, give me a hug. My goodness, I haven't had a hug all day long. He's fine. He's fine. He's been giving that nurse out a way a heck of a hard time, though. She is a little hard to stomach sometimes, you know. Yeah. What's wrong, Noah? Nothing's wrong. Well, you were up half the night. I just couldn't sleep, that's all. You know, you hardly have said a word to me all morning. Just not in a very talkative mood, I guess. Oh, come on, what's bothering you? Nothing's bothering me. I just want to be alone for a while. I just want to be alone by myself for a while. That's all. Look, I'm, I'm not going to leave you alone until you tell me what's bothering you. Nothing's bothering me. I'm fine. I just, you know, I just want to be alone for a while. Why? I... Is it a crime for a person wanting to be alone for a while? I didn't know that was a crime. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I might be under a great misconception here, but I thought people got married in order to be together. Well, they... Sure, they just don't have to be on each other's heels 24 hours a day. Have I been on your heels 24 hours a day? Look, Quentin, why are you making such a, uh, such a big deal out of this? Because I'm worried and concerned about you. Well, look, there's no need to be worried or concerned. I just wanted to get away from the crowd for a little while, that's all. Since when do five people in one big mansion constitute a crowd? It's ten people. It's ten people. Five servants, five people. That makes ten people. I see, I see. Pretty soon we're going to be scratching and fighting over each other for a little space, hmm? It's not funny. It's not funny at all. Uh, it seems to me that you were the one that wanted to come and live here in the first place, right? Look, we came to live here for Henry's sake. I see, and you've been grinning and bearing it all this time, huh? Sometimes I do get a little claustrophobic, you know. All right, all right, all right. Now, look, that isn't it, Noah. I know you. You've been pulling away from me for days now. Now, what is the matter? Nothing's the matter. I'm just... I, I'm worried a little bit. I'm... Worried? Worried about what? I've been worried about Maureen. I've been worried about Ed. I've been worried about Tony. I've been worried about Annabelle. I've been worried about Vanessa. And Vanessa? Yeah, she's just been too nice to me. I, uh, I'm worried about Stacy. Stacy? Is something wrong with Stacy? <laughs> no, I just haven't been spending enough time with her. I haven't even had time for myself to think lately. That's all. I just... Will you stop? Just stop following me, okay? All right. All right. So, married life has been a little bit more difficult than you anticipated, I suppose. Maybe. Oh, I see. And you're the only one that doesn't have time for themselves. Well, for your information, I haven't had much time for myself either. Do you realize I haven't, I haven't cataloged one artifact in, in months now? Oh, well, uh, since we're on the subject of your work, when are you going to take that box of bones out of my closet? Wait a minute. What if your closet, it's our closet. No, it's and I my will move... closet. Wait a minute. Now, I will move my bones out of our closet when the lab upstairs is finished. I don't want to wait. I want them out now. It's my closet. I'm but... sick of looking at that box of bones every time I go in and change and put on a new pair of shoes. It's like being in a museum. All right, all right. I will move the bones out of our closet now, when I get back. Today, where are you going? I'm going for a walk. And when I get back, young lady, I want you to tell me what's really bothering you. Now, Quentin!
those things. I didn't mean to fight. I, I just... Uh, I don't want to fight again like that. Okay? All right, all right. I just don't know what's going on. I don't know why I blew up like that. We've both been under a lot of pressure lately, that's all. I shouldn't have let things get out of hand like that. No, I started it. I, I started the fight. I it's did. It's over. It's over. Let's forget about well, it. Well, I can't forget about it. I just don't know what's going on with me. I just can't... Will these help? Oh. Oh. They're beautiful. Where did you get them? Well, when I left, I was pretty angry, so I started walking. Yeah. Before I realized it, I walked all the way into town. Yeah. And then the first story I came upon was the, uh, Mr. Frederick, the florist. Uh-huh. So I went inside to, to get you those. Oh. But when I went to pay for them, I realized I had forgotten my wallet. Oh, but you have an account there, don't you have an account? And Mr. Frederick believes in cash only. Oh, no. What did you do? Well, the logical thing was to call Jane and ask her to find my wallet and bring it to me. Oh, that's good. Yes, and that's what she did. Oh, that's good. Then I opened my wallet, and I didn't have enough cash to pay Mr. Frederick. Oh, no. But he takes credit cards, so. Cash and carry only. Oh, well, what'd you do? I had to ask Jane for the money. You must have been real mad by then, huh? Oh, I was livid grabbed the flowers and I stormed out the door and I just slammed it. Oh. And I slammed it right on my jacket. Mr. Frederick had to come over and extricate me from the door. You, um, you ripped your jacket right up the back there. Yep, all the way up the back. Uh -huh. That's what I did. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. Sorry, you ripped your jacket all the way up the back there. <laughs> it was worth it. Thank you for the flowers. They're beautiful. It's worth it just to see you smile and laugh again. Have you realized that this was the first fight that we ever had in our married life? Yes, I do. And you were right about something. I was? Oh, what was it? Well, I just, uh... I haven't been myself lately. Because you haven't been sleeping well. No, that's not it. That's not it, no. I just, um... Well, I've sort of been feeling... Irritable? Irritable. Cranky? Cranky. You've been crying a lot, too. I... How do you know that? Well, I do sleep with you at night. Oh, and I do right. notice these things. <gasps> Besides, the tip of your nose is red. And it always goes red when you've been crying a lot. You know what? I haven't felt this way... What? What is it? Um... Well, I guess it sort of has to be. Has to be what? Well, I guess I just sort of have to admit it to myself then. And then what? I'm pregnant. You're what? I'm gonna have a baby. A baby? And do you mind? Do I mind? <laughs> a baby. A baby. I'm gonna have a baby. Oh, no! 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 no. <laughs> you have made me the happiest man on earth! I can't believe it! A baby! You're gonna be a daddy. <laughs> I'm gonna be a daddy. 